Hey, what's up, guys? Once again, we're playing Ocarina of Time. That's right, the original Nintendo 64 version. Of course, we're playing it on the Nintendo Switch using my handy-dandy wireless controller here. But it's the original version. It just happens to be emulated on Switch. So, what are we doing tonight? Some people call this the Great Collection, the Legendary Collection. And this is vital to our journey. Uh, last time, we saw the princess and we learned a song, met Impa, but this time there's so many important things to do. We're gonna go all over Hyrule. Uh, we're gonna start in Lon Lon Ranch, go to Kakariko Village, to the graveyard. We're gonna go over to Lost Woods, to Gerudo Valley, to Lake Hylia. Along the way, we're gonna get an amazing shield. We're gonna get many different gold skull tullas, some heart pieces, complete a heart container. So yeah, a lot of um, really important things to do. We're even gonna upgrade to our Deku sticks. And with those gold skulltellas, we'll at least upgrade once and get our, our adult wallet, allowing us to have uh, 200 rupees instead of just 99. This is like a really important part of the step, okay? Really important part of the journey. And so I thank you for joining me. This is Loud Boy. And we're gonna go in three, two, and one. All right, guys, here we go. Hey, check out the map on your screen. As you can see, uh, the flashing dot in the middle, the big white uh, kind of oblong shape, that's where we are, right outside of Lon Lon Ranch. We came from, though, see the, uh, the I have it highlighted with the square up there? That's the market, of course, right outside of Hyrule Castle. We were there last time when we met the princess. So, we've come down south, okay? to Lon Lon Ranch, if I can get my controller to work here. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Lon Lon Ranch and we're in, we have a song to get, some chickens to catch and stuff like that, and a gold skull tella. And then we're gonna work our way over to Kakariko Village and more specifically the graveyard. And I told you last time there is a way to get the Hylian Shield for free. We're gonna do that. Gold Skull Tulla, couple more songs, heart pieces, and then we're gonna go over to the Lost Woods, meet up with Sarah in the Lost Woods, get some more goodies there. And then we're probably gonna venture out a little bit further, maybe go over to Gerudo Valley, and possibly to Lake Hylia. So this is uh, what some call the Legendary Collection, or the Great Collection, as we've talked about before. This is gonna be cool, really necessities that we must get, in order to go on to do Death Mountain, and get the Fire Spiritual Stone, and after that, of course, inside of the Lord Jabu Jabu. But first things first, Lon Lon Ranch, that's where we are. So as I mentioned, look across Hyrule Field. There, of course, is the gatehouse to, um, the gateway to the market and to the castle. And then up in the distance there, you can also see there's Death Mountain. Right behind us across the field, that's where we're going right now. Remember last time, there was that nice little girl that was looking for her dad who fell asleep by the castle gate delivering milk? Well, this is where she lives. Her dad and her run this place. And there's something special we need to do here. So let's go see her. First things first, let's get out our ocarina. We're gonna map that. Here we go. And she's singing a lovely little song. So let's talk to her. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse, her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? And she is. There's little bitty Epona, right? Of course, we know grows up to be our, one of our, our best friend, our companion through these adventures. All right, so let's do something here. Take out my ocarina. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? 
Let's sing together. Oh, cute, Ocarina. Are you going to play this song with Ocarina? Okay, this is the song. You've learned Epona song. Hey guys, I thought about it a couple times now that I'm back. My voice is not what it usually is. A little bit of hoarseness to it, no pun intended. Hi Epona. And uh, just bear with me. It'll get stronger over time. Point is we're here. We just learned Epona's song. If we check out our subscreens, we can see now, of course, we have Zelda's Lullaby and Epona's song. So there's two. That's good. All right, we do not have the day song yet, which I wish I had it at this point. I would actually turn to night and get a couple gold skull tullas. I believe there's one here, but I think it's only at night. Let's find out. Ah, some of these is kind of a, a lovely giveaway. They don't require nighttime to get them. This is one of them. Sometimes the, the trees near the entrances or near important parts um, do not require that. Like that one. So that's nice. I think it's like six. Six now that we have. One of which, Skulltellas, is right here on the back of this. But pretty darn sure, yeah. At night, that will appear right there. Okay, comes out at night, as most of them do. However, like I said, they tend to be uh, lovely giveaways during the daytime when we're a kid like this. Kind of a, I get to know you present from the game. All right, this is a cool little spot. Kind of a mini puzzle, not really, but if you grab these blocks and push them out of the way, there's a little secret back here. That we can get. Grabbing on, push, push. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Cow, excuse me. Alright, let's go up and over. I can, let's see. If I'm, what, is, what else? Alright, let's pull it back. The goal here is to get this block away from this corner right here. And you can actually almost see it there. That camera angle was kind of forgiving there for a moment. And did I pull the right one? No. Nicely done. I got turned around in the box maze. Excuse me. All right. All right. Push. Thank you. I meant to grab this one. Grab. Pull back. All right. That should be enough. Yep into the tunnel. Oh, look at that. Look at that little beauty sitting there for waiting for us. Another piece of heart. Was that? Okay, yeah. That's the first of four. But it filled up our hearts. That's great. Thank you very much. If you remember last time, you know, uh, having a, a good stable heart is really important to me these days. Ha! Ah. Um, you know, after my surgery, the quadruple bypass, by the way, genetic thing wasn't anything that I smoked, drank, ate or whatever. It wasn't that, not that that would have been it, but it was a genetic thing. I mean, since I was a kid, since I was a baby, there was a kind of a heart murmur or flutter, if you will. And undiagnosed, it went all these years, could have killed me. When they discovered it, finally, I wasn't even having regular heart attacks. No, I was having severe back pain. None of the tingling the arm and none of those kind of traditional signs. So therefore, I had no clue. Meanwhile, I had 100% blockage in an artery, 90% and two more. I could have dropped dead at any point. Dead. 
just drop dead. It's not the first time in my life where I've been spared that fate and been saved when I didn't know I was on the verge of death. Uh, they think that I have feline DNA, like cat DNA, because I truly have nine lives at this point. But anyway, uh, my goodness. Take care of your health, guys. Watch the signs. And, uh, and if you're blessed like me, God has not called me home yet. And uh, I, that's good. I think I still, I'm still here for a reason. And, and uh, I have to hold on to that. So, here we are. Mumble, mumble, huh? I'm awake already? What? Well, I'll be, if it ain't the force kid from the other day. By the way, thanks for waking me up. He's southern again. I took some doing, but I finally got Milan back in a good mood. So, what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three cuckoos here have one big special super cuckoo. I'm going to throw these cuckoos that they're a uh, gaggle of normal cuckoos. If you can pick these out, these three special birds from among the normal ones, within the time limit, I'll give you something good. We want this. If you can't find them, I win. It'll be 10 rupees. Want to play? Sure. 30 seconds. All right. The kind of the trick to this is that he, th the three so-called super cuckoos, he throws into kind of three regions, if you will. They're in that area? Nope. Back here? Nope. Darn it. Oh. Oh no, I'm having to go, uh, go having to go melee on this hunt here. Get back here. Alright, there's one more, one more, one more. Get back here. Come here, come here. Nope. Oh, you, 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 you. Nope. You. Darn it! Last time I aced it right away. Okay, at least it's half price this time. Here we go again. <laughs> Sometimes this happens. Sometimes you nail it, you know where to look, and you get them right away. Where's that? Okay, I see him, I see him. I, I want that guy first. Shoot! Come, come. No, it's you, it's you. Yep, okay, it's you. And you, nope, nope, you, nope, you. Good, one more. Uh, here, nope, here. Yep, got him. Hey, you, you got the talent to be one of the world's best cowboys. See, the southern accent, I think I uh, preemptively did right there. How'd you like to marry Malon, huh? Ah, I was just kidding. Just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? Ha 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 ha. Oh, I'm proud to be present in such a sample of your very own Long Long Milk. You'll be energized from the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. All right. All jokes aside and horrific Southern accent aside, this is the first bottle that we're gonna get. Um, there's three that we can get like right off the bat. Uh, that's one. Catching Cuckoos at Lon Lon Ranch. All right, so check it out, subscreen. So right now, he did give us a lovely sample of milk. We can drink this, it restores your hearts, but it's the empty bottle that we really want, especially to hold fairies, which have a lot more restorative power in the long run. Uh, they'll save your hide, as you may well know. All right, that was Long Lun Ranch. We are going to head to the east. Remember how directionally challenged I am? Yeah. All right, but I'm pretty sure this is east. So we're gonna head towards Death Mountain. More specifically, what's at the base of Death Mountain? Kakariko Village and the graveyard that lies behind it. Meanwhile, darn it, the sun's going down. As I run away from Long Lun Ranch, where we could have gotten some gold skull tell us, but oh well. Next time. Is it gonna happen? It happened. Okay. 
I can hear the drawbridge going up. Here we are in the village. Which is actually going to work out well for us for a few reasons here. This is when I... Stop it. Um, this is when I always try to remember if it's a thing or not. Give me a second here. Nope. Yep. There you are. Hi. Another gold skulltella that gives us a grand total of seven. Excellent. Our first prize comes at ten, where we get something special for our efforts. There is a crate on the back side of this building. I was just being thorough there. No, nope. right, it's the other crate. Okay. Got another one. There's two. There's a ladder right here up to this big watchtower. Take out your slingshot and do that guy in. There's a little chime letting us know that he's now available for pickup. There we go. There's another one. Is this going to hurt me if I jump? No? Okay. Good. All right. I hear another one behind me. We will get that in a moment. Being thorough. I hear you. Where's our ramp? There it is. Okay. This little, maybe what used to be a building or something. Foundation, some kind of frame or anyway, brickwork right at the top of it. You can hear the guy from miles away. And another gold skulltella. That already gives us, I went the wrong way. Yep, there's 10. Why not? claim our prize. It doesn't matter whether we do it now or later. So we do have 10. This is a house of, of Skulltella. And what happens is when the, when the curse has been broken around the room, these what used to be spider cursed people uh, become human again. And they give us a reward. In this case, boom, adult wallet. That's our first prize. So now we can hold up to 200 rubies instead of what was only 99. Not bad. Pretty good reward for maximum effort. All right, there's another one. Got another one. Excellent. Um, a couple of these we cannot get to where adults. We can use the slingshot. I'm sorry, the, uh, the long shot. Um, or the hook shot to kind of scale our way Spider-Man style across the rooftops in this village. So here we go back to the graveyard. Ooh. And unfortunately it is nighttime. Certain grave, grave robbing activities are prohibited at night. Let me show you. That's Dempy. He's out here guarding the graves. When you try to grab a grave... And he made me a liar. He let me right in. Okay, cool. I can't wait till we get bombs. When we have bombs, we can blow that wall. And there you go, guys. Behind, what, this first row? Where you see the plants growing? Pull back the gravestone and boom. Hylian Shield did not cost 80 rupees. Instead, it is free, and we now have it. And let's equip it just because we can. And there you go. We got the shield. Nice. All right, we still got some more stuff to do here. All right, so that was um, the first row. Now there is a second row as well. 
It's like the game already knows where we're headed. See how the rain has started? Storm has begun. Uh, let's see, which one is it? I ain't got turned around. Okay. Yeah, by the way, right up here, Skulltala, but guess what? Without the boomerang, yeah, I could kill it, but I wouldn't be able to get it until we have the boomerang, which is a Lord Jabu Jabu thing. So, ah, there he is. And we don't have the sun song yet. Let's come back. We're a heartbeat away from getting that. Okay, so this is kind of cool. There are a couple of ghosts that reside here. Uh, some people call them the Mario and Luigi ghosts, the composer brothers. And hold on, Navi wants to read the thing. Yeah, Royal Family's Tomb. Now check it out on the ground. Right before us we have, well, yeah, now you can see it. See the camera angle? All right, that's a Triforce symbol. What are we playing? We play the Triforce song. And with the song, some cool stuff happens. The Royal Family's Tomb. First things first. Lock onto these. I believe there's four in this room. Keys. And you want to get rid of all four. There's three. Thank you. And... Da, da, da. Back towards the door, right? Oh, there you are. I see you. Releases the bars by killing all four. Which allows us to now pass into the true depths of this tomb. There's some really fed and disgusting evil swamp water in here, and these lovely redeads. All right, no, hey, no, don't you dare get... Oh, you... There's something really disgusting. Okay, no! <laughs> That's how I've felt all freaking week when I've been... <laughs> when I've been sick. I can... Oh, so embarrassing. You should have run faster, boy. Okay. Let's collect ourselves. Not let that punk get us this time. Yeah, I wanted to show him to you. I wanted to talk about it and, you know, what happens, right? The usual jerk grabs me. Okay. Something so disgusting about him doing that to us. All right. This is where we're meant to be. When we're not dying, let's check it out. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon and moon to sun. Give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. Sun Song. And there you have it. 
This song is powerful. Let's you turn night to day, speeding up time, you know. But also, it freezes the dead in their place, allowing you to either pass or attack them. So, uh, very cool. Easy to get. When you're not a moron like me, you can get caught by that dude on the way. But, uh, yeah, easy enough. And let me show you what it does. Alright, so play the Sun Song in the vicinity of these redead. You hear that that sound? That's them being frozen in place. See? They are not moving. They're kind of that off-white kind of cream color. Lovely. Um, the color of death. And boom, we have the Sun Song. Now, if you recall, we were at that last tombstone, and it is daytime. So let me show you that thing. Yep, right there. See, since it's daytime, we're not allowed to do this. However, best time to rob a grave is at night. So, let's do it. Now that it's night time. And that's the wrong one. It's the fourth one. Um, now that. Would you leave me alone? I will take that though. drink of milk there. Sun song. Are you going to die or what? So playing the sun song here on the steps makes a chest appear. Does matter where you stand. If you're standing up on the platform or before the steps, the song will not work. But if you stand right here on the steps, it actually works for you. So that gives us another piece of heart. Nice. In the future, when we get our magic beans, we can plant one of them here. And up on the ledge above that spot is a piece of heart and a chest, something that we can grab when we're adults. Now that it is daytime, The sound of the chicken is a lovely omen of what we must do next. See this really concerned lady right here? Let's see what's going on. What should I do? My cuckoos have all flown away. You little boy, please help me get them back. All right, there are seven of these suckers around the town. A big part of this is knowing where they are, of course. The other part is knowing how to get them. Um, it requires a little bit of uh, know-how as far as get back here. Um, for instance, using them to actually kind of glide through the air. There you go. Hello. Come on. Um, so here's another one.
And if you take this sucker right up here. Yeah, okay, made it. Shoot. All right. Throw him off. Grab this guy. You see how you kind of float? They, they, they allow you to kind of float through the air using their wings to glide you, which is lovely. So this is the guy that we used to get that one up on the ledge. We threw him off. He's gone back to where he started, which is right around where that crate was, of course. And, oh, come on. There we go. And I believe that's three. There's one up near the Death Mountain Pass. And there's one by the entrance to the village. So let's go get that one next. Yep, yeah, there you are. I need, I should I want to look that up. I need to look that up. Kukos. Where does that word come from? You know, is it a uh, like a variation on a Japanese word? Is it kind of a cute play on words of the sort of the sound that chicken makes? Anyway, I'm kind of curious where that comes from. And uh, I can't look it up right now, obviously, but I'm going to. I've, little details like that kind of stick in my head, and I want to know more. And Because uh, it, it is kind of weird, right? They're cuckoos. All right, so maybe it's just the Hylian word for chicken. Alright, so this is number... Yeah, if this is four or five... Und, uno, dos, tres... Alright, this is quattro. Alright, that's four. Very good. Alright. Okay. All right, no, yeah, that is five. All right. So, seeing that we're already up to five, we're going to grab one of these puppies. <laughs> puppies. And we're going to throw him out, grab him. Using his power of flight, we're going to use him to go get his other brothers over here. Hey, get back here. All right. How do you do that? These steps up to the windmill. This is kind of tricky. You soar off, throw it right at the last minute. And what this does is it allows you to kind of grab onto the edge of that. Don't fall. Okay. I hate falling there. Um, gives us access to that. Throw him over the edge. There's one up here, though. Technically, number seven would be accurate, right? So, sometimes you can get this in one one go, and that's what I want to try this time. Getting, using that one to access these, what, two or three on this side and over the edge. Let's go get you, sir. Come on, come on. Would you, I, it's probably just as hard to catch real chickens. My dad actually had his own chicken coop and had a couple of roosters, a bunch of chickens. They laid fresh eggs. Pretty epic for a while there. Uh, it was funny. <laughs> With one of the roosters, he met an interesting uh, demise at the end. He had to be let go. Some friends in my dad's church... I'm, I, if, I, if I'm butchering the story, sorry, Dad. Um, they had a mountain lion. And that mountain lion needed some... Some fresh food. Uh, something to hunt. I, I, I believe I'm getting this right. Point is, I believe he became mountain lion food. At the end of his sweet life. Ah, 
Oh, but I'm sure he had a good life with all those hens around. Come on. Um, one guy with all those chicks. Nice. So, <laughs> but the, the chickens were great. They would run all over their property. You know, free-range chickens. And, uh, and there we go. Let's talk to her. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps. Uh, when I touch them, goosebumps from cuckoos. Uh, for helping me, I will give this to you. It's fine glass and should be useful. Take good care of it. And boom. Empty bottle number two. So check it out. Subscreen, one. Down here, one, two. Nice. There are many other places in which we could go um, at this point in the game that are unlocked to us, effectively unlocked to us. Um, Gerudo Valley being one. Zora's River, not so much. That does require bombs, which will require our entrance to and beating of Dandango's Cavern. That's where we get our bomb bag and the ability to blow stuff up at will. Which is right off there to the left, by the way. We just passed the little uh, sideway that gets to there. However, if we backtrack to our original hometown, we're gonna go to the Lost Woods. Those have basically been open since the beginning of the game, but it is a necessity that we go there now. We have an old friend waiting for us. The young lady that gave us the ocarina and now that we have the sun song once we hit the village there's actually a gold skull teller that we can get okay remember this bridge okay so playing the sun song Right up behind this house, near the entrance. One of these guys is waiting for us. And what is that, 11? 12, okay, cool. All right, so there's 12. Can't go over that. Oh, you gotta love invisible walls. They're the best. Invisible walls, all right. Over here, if you remember when we were doing the Deku tree, there's the store where we bought our Deku shield. And there is a soft soil spot right here where we can plant a magic bean in the future. Right up there, in that cutout on that ledge, there's a bunch of rupees that we can get in due time. Not now, but I wanted to show you that they are there. So, how do we get to the Lost Woods? Well, easy enough. Right down there, there's the entrance where we entered the village. And right here, there is a wall that we can climb. I pressed the wrong thing. All right. Oh. I don't have the song that I need yet. My bad. Okay. He He's going to want Sarah's song. 
So, that's Skull Kid, by the way. And we can play a song with him. I, I can play him that song, but we need to get the song first. So first things first, let's go this way. Fun little thing that we can do here. Take out your... Nice shot. Seriously? Okay, come on. I, I keep I'm not I'm not moving. Alright, hold on. Every bloody time, right? This is the easiest thing in the world to do. And I'm out of the goosey. <laughs> The irony. Okay. It, when you shoot a succession of, you know, bullseye 100 point shots there, uh, you the guy comes out and gives you a bigger uh, Deku seat back. The irony is, I don't know why it didn't work, but it didn't. And I ran out of Deku seeds. So, uh, no. Thank you, information kiosk. All right. Yes, I'm going to follow my ears. Okay. We're going to get that. This little space right here, though, that will take us to Goron City, which is pretty cool. And if you look, and then this actually will take you to Zora's River. It's kind of cool how the Lost Woods is interconnected to. I don't hear the song. I hear the song. I actually got turned around since all that happened. Here we go. And I believe. Yep. All right, here we go. Sacred Forest Meadow. Right off the bat, an, an enemy will confront us. Hello. There you are. Releasing the bars. Now, this is a maze. Not very difficult to do. Or deal with will be handy however in this case to have our Deku shield out there's no real threat of fire in this area why is it handy well for that reason we can deflect the Deku seeds at this guy you go oh yep. ah thank you for the seeds there we go all right I normally do this on the way back, but this time, I'm going to do it now. This is a fairy fountain. And it's easy enough. We grab a couple bottles. And we tank up on fairies while we're here. As they also replenish our hearts. Love fairy fountains. There we go. As you can see, upper right hand corner of your screen, uh, we now have those two. 
I always make sure they're hidden away. I don't want to accidentally use them. So boom, but they're sitting there waiting in the wings to save our hides when we need it to. So yeah, the two bottles that we took time and effort to get are now actually useful to us. And that's kind of cool. I haven't done that before. Um, excuse me. Just run by, run right by those guys. In the future, though, um, there's a giant dude, and he'll smack the living crap out of you. He's easy enough to avoid, but uh, still, the danger goes up exponentially in the future than those silly little guys. So, here we are. And there she is. Playing that song that we need so badly. I've been waiting for you, Link. This is a sacred forest meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Okay, try and follow along with the melody I play. Are you ready? Sarah's song. <laughs> great, great. Please don't forget this song. Do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Sarah's song, and you can talk with me anytime. And there we have it. Subscreen. We have Zelda's Lullaby, Epona Song, Sarah Song, and the Sun Song. Not bad. Going from one to now four. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, what did I say? Run right through them? Yeah. What happens? They peg me several times. It's all good. Quick pit stop. Thank you, boys. Covering up my stupidity. I like things that do that. All right. Coming back, you just bypass the entire maze. Like so. And here we go. Information kiosk. Again. Did you learn the ocarina song? Yep. The melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like this that you can learn in Hyrule. If you hold out, blah, blah, blah. Hoot, hoot, hoot. And... No. Thank you. Eject. Okay. If you want to get out quickly, just pick a wrong tunnel and go. It's easy enough. It is daytime, and it would be wonderful if the thing that always works beautifully every darn time works beautifully this time. Maybe it was because it was nighttime. Totally got stiffed, huh? This is what's supposed to happen. Cool, you're great. You scored three perfect bullseyes. I'm gonna give you a neat present. 
to such a wonderful person. Please take it. And there it is. So now we have a bigger Deku Seed bag. Alright. Why did I do that? Because honestly, I'm trying to remember if that's where we can... Um, I, th I thought maybe there's a piece of heart there. Let's go see Skull Kid. Lovely waste of Deku Seeds, huh? There he is. All right, taking out our ocarina. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I know. I was trying to. Re you know how really amazing I am at this, right? I have no problem making fun of myself. Especially when my shortcomings are quite humorous and ridiculous at the same time, so. And booyah! Another piece of heart, that's three. One more after that, and we have an entire heart container. Claimed by getting these. Another soft soils patch. Which is a lovely little shortcut, by the way. You can, in the future, you can stand on the leaf glides you right over to that bridge right there. Yeah, it's kind of a quick way out of the Lost Woods. All right, so here we go. That's Sarah's song, Peace of Heart. Okay. There are a couple more things I just remembered that we can do in the Lost Woods. And so we're going to do those. Uh, some gold skull tellers and actually an upgrade as well. So, to do that though, we have to do this. And I hate doing this, but we, we need the bottles. And that's what happens, of course, when you have a fairy and you uncork it on your own. Yeah, you know, it fills up all your hearts and stuff. So, um, we did not want to go that way. Let me show you some. Okay, let's try this. Yep, there they are. These are bugs. You can put them in a bottle. And I just filled up two of my bottles with them. Very good. Now, One of the places we want to go, I believe, is this direction. Yep. Okay. There's these guys. That, yep, there's a soft soil spot. And... Oh, cry! Would you stop? Meanwhile, let's get out our ocarina, All right? Play the sun song. We want it to be nighttime because when we put the bugs in a soft so soil spot, say that 10 times fast, a soft soil spot, um, it will then release a gold skull tella. However, we need that gold skull tella yeah, I went the wrong way. I had to come out at night. So. Let's do this one first, since I got lost in the Lost Woods. Imagine that. Alright, because there's one right up here. Here it is. Okay. Nighttime. Bottle. Bugs. That little chime lets us know that we're on the path to something good here. Hello. Hello. 
Nice. Going down here, under the bridge that takes us out of this area, there is a business shrub. Talk to him. And yes, we want to do this. This will give us a greater capacity for holding Deku sticks. We now have... Yeah, thank you. Um, he's letting us know that we need to go to Death Mountain. I know, we're getting there. Um, so yeah, that's a, actually the one place where you can get this upgrade to your Deku sticks. And now we can hold, I believe, up to 40 of them, which is nice. So there's that soft soil spot. And coming back this way, we need to head as if we were going up to see Sarah at the very top of the maze. So to do that, we go this way, so right, then left, then right, then left, and then I believe left. Yep, to get back to where we were. I'm not gonna mess around with these guys this time. Here's our chime. They're still trying to peg me over there. And there's our ghost go tall. Thank you. There is something kind of cool back here. I don't think it's very useful just yet, but in the back of this little glen, this little area, are these things. And this is something that I believe we have to do in the future. A uh, future time. So, this kind of thing, right? These soft soil spots, you actually revisit them more than once, okay? This time, of course, we are using the bugs to now get uh, Gulls Cotellas at night. However, you return there in the future, and I said, let's grab them. There's bugs. You release bugs a lot of times. A lot of times they're under. Oh shoot! Stop. They're under rocks. No, stop. And then sometimes they're actually when you cut down grass. Uh, that's where they are. So there we go. Now you notice I took the time to get bugs in our bottle both bottles because as i showed you on the way in that right back here behind the store is another spot Like a chump. All right, that gives us 15. Okay. We still have one bottle of bugs left. I think they're all mystified. Like, what are you doing back here? Are you back to stay? No. Sorry, but for now, I have to leave childhood behind. Way too much to do. Adventure's calling. All right, so back to Hyrule Field. We're going to head over to Lon Lon Ranch. If you recall, when we were there last, we hadn't yet gotten the day song. And because of that, there's a gold skulltella that we can obtain the backside of the horse corral. That's where we're going now. And then back to Kakariko Village, 
release some more bugs. And then we will wrap this up, gaining ourselves access to Death Mountain. All right, so it's nighttime. And by the way, right up here, can't get it just yet. I can shoot it, but without the boomerang, I can't get that gold skulltella. But he's waiting there for us, and you'll hear him at nighttime. So, another thing that you make another round, you come back around, and you get a prize that's now obtainable with whatever new weapon and or tool that we get along the way. However, this one doesn't require. So. There you go. Another gold skull tala. Nice. Worth the trip. As we claw our way towards 20, which is the next point in which we get a a prize for our efforts in the House of Skulltella. Thank you. Ah, it's kind of annoying hearing that guy as you pass by, just but knowing you can't get him. It's like, oh, you're just sitting there waiting to be taken. All right, here we are, Hyrule Field. As you know, the drawbridge is up. Little skeleton kids are out trying to get us. Just walk around them. Um, you could sit there and kill them all day, all night long, and you're just wasting your time because they respawn every time, over and over. So it's a waste of time. But we just walk around them. So here we go, and not bad timing. Although, given that the sun's about to come up, I'm gonna have to play the sun song once again inside of Kakariko Village. And there's the chicken, the cuckoo crowing, letting us know a new day has begun. I can hear the drawbridge lowering in the distance behind us. Playing the song once again. Might as well do it like right here at the entrance because by default it resets you, right? So if you walked into the middle of the village, they could like most of the time kick you right out to the curb if you will so that's just how it works all right so as you can see upper right hand corner um we still have one bottle of bugs however if at this point you don't have any never fear right up here Is another chance to get some more. All right, remember, sometimes they're under rocks. This is one of those cases. So, picking up that rock right outside the graveyard, uh, you can actually capture yourself some bugs. So now I have two bottles worth. For now, I really only need one. So we can get this right here. Yeah, I hear you. I need some hearts. Um, oh, you're going to love that sound. I can't do the fairy fountain yet in the graveyard because... Thank you. I'll take it. Uh, because we don't yet have bombs. Bombs will give us access to one there. However, we did scrape up a heart, and currently we have 17. A 
Nice. Okay. This is Kakariko Village. Due west of here is Gerudo Valley. I was hoping that would come down. Thank you. All right. Yeah, that tree can be a, a nice little giver at times. So if in our case, this case where we need hearts that badly, just smack that tree on your way out. And sometimes it'll give you three hearts. Sometimes just rupees. But it gave us what we needed, which is wonderful. All right. So again, excuse me. Heading due west, as we can see the moon going down. And if you look at your map, bottom right hand corner, kind of a north, south, east, and west thing going on. The place that is due, kind of sticking out east there, I mean, there's a couple things. There's Zora's River, there's of course our village, and then we are heading straight for Gerudo Valley, which is accessible right now, at least part of it. be our first time coming here. Yeah, and we still have uh, some bugs in a bottle, which is why we're coming here, or one of the reasons. Ah, shocker. Okay, thank you. Don't get discouraged. I'll try not to. Thank you, Mr. Owl. Man, I, uh... My friend from Europe... Thanks, dude, for watching, man. I, I love your notes and your comments, and I appreciate you, buddy. Um, he wrote me and told me some cool lore that in Skyward Sword, Zelda's dad has a striking familiarity to the owl. So check that out. Um, anyway, I just, I, I love that. And, uh, and like, oh yeah, you're kind of right. Kind of makes sense. Um, all right. So here we go. This is Gerudo Valley. Now there is a Skulltella right here to the right next to that little waterfall. However, without the boomerang, we can't quite get that yet. Ah, oh, she's blocking the way. Okay, of course she is. All right, there is there are things that we can do here though. Hey, come here, come here. All right, thank you, buddy. Let's see. I believe it's this right side. Yeah, this is one of them. All right, here we go. Soaring off. Uh, did I, I did I launch from the wrong place? All right, changing changing directions here. I tried to do a roll there. Didn't work. All right. Sun song. Because we need to be nighttime. Using our bugs. Love the auto jump. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. This is pretty cool, though. The waterfall at the end of this big cavern area hides a secret. You can almost see it from here. There's a ladder that climbs up the wall behind the water 
footfall and and guess what's waiting for us A piece of heart that gave us that extra heart container that we so badly want and need into the drink at this point we just gotta take the swim there is another ledge up there that I missed. Something we can get in the future. But for now, Grotto Valley in this river is a cool little waterway. There you go. It takes us right to Lake Hylia. Also our first time coming here. There's the observatory kind of thing going on there. All right, the lakeside place. Now, hoping for some bugs. There's always goodies in the, these grasses here. And forgive me if I don't remember exactly where the stupid bugs are. Um, I have a bad feeling. I, I have a feeling it'll be like some unique rock or something somewhere that would give us some bugs. So I'm probably going crazy here just for no okay. Alright. Let's see. And here's why. There's a soft spoil soil spot right here. You know, and I want to be able to plant that. So that being said, we can however come over here. I'm hope let's see, maybe this one over here. No, and yeah, come on. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I knew there I knew there was one, but I right, we got him. No, get No, don't jump down. Auto jump. No. Okay, well we have one. That's something. Alright, let's talk to this guy. He's a scarecrow musical genius. No, hold on. Would you... Alright. You have to trigger it the right way. Point is, when you do, he goes, Whoa! You have an ocarina! And he wants to hear a tune. Lay it on me, baby. Here we go. That's always been my song. Something I can't forget. That's easy to play. Left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. So. And there we go. That technically is my Scarecrow song. So. And when you talk to him again, he's letting me know that he remembers that. That's going to play into our hands later when you use the Scarecrow song to... And beautiful. It's almost sunset. Um, when you use the Scarecrow song in certain places, of course, the Scarecrow will pop up and allow you to... Alright, it's nighttime. Good. Here we go. There's our chime. That is number 19. Yep. Number 19. 
Alright, that's Lake Hylia. Gerudo Valley. We've been to the Lost Woods. We've been to our village. We went to Lon Lon Ranch twice. Kakariko Village a couple times. Um, graveyard. We've been all over Hyrule. And because of such... Ah, I see Mr. Owl. Yeah, you're waiting for me, aren't you, dude? Is he gonna catch me? Let's find out. He's not. Alright, good. <laughs> He's always there. Alright. So, again. Excuse me. Alright, checking our map. We are on the bottom, very southern tip of Hyrule Field. And there he... And the guy just teleports wherever he wants. It's like, you know, I didn't get a chance to bother you back there, so, uh, you mind if I bother you now? You got you got time, kid? Uh, I... Link, hey, wait up, buddy. <laughs> he knows I'm avoiding him. Head south from here, the leech. Like, uh, yeah, I was just there. You missed me. Okay. All right, thank you, Zelda's dad. Hoot hoot. Our friend from Europe and I, I'll hold back from saying his name. You know who you are, dude. And I thank you for watching again. Um, I mentioned in a recent video, I think it was Spirit Temple. I go, hey, there's Bob's your uncle. And then I started pondering, I'm like, where did that come from? That's such a weird expression. And I shared with you at the time that I had an Uncle Bob. Yeah, for real. And uh, he's since passed away a long time ago, but I actually had an Uncle Bob in the expression, Bob's your uncle. I, I've always found it to be a curious expression. Well, my friend, you looked it up and I thank you for doing so. I wish I could, I, I wanna be able to read you the comment. I'll, I'll try to get it to you and share it with you next time. But point is it comes from like 17th or 18th century some royalty somewhere, some archduke or something like that, right? Who had an Uncle Bob. And that's when the first time the, the expression was used, coined. And, you know, I think a, a term like that would probably have to be used at some kind of higher echelons, if you will, of society. And so anyway, I found that really fascinating that, and I thank you, man, for looking that up. Fascinating. Um, anyway. I need to share better details, clearly, but that's that's the gist of it, is that it came from some kind of very important person a long time ago, as most things tend to do. So, and I can hear the little cuckoos going crazy around here. We don't need to deal with them, so guess where we are? We are here at Death Mountain Pass. When we did part two and saw Princess Zelda, she gave us a lovely parting gift which was a letter. So let's use that now. There we go. So if you talk to this guy, he's not going to let us buy. However, if we take out Zelda's letter, right? Again, royalty paves the way, doesn't it? It says, oh, this is, this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. How he knows her. Maybe she, I guess it makes sense. Well, let's see. Hmm. Okay. This is Link. He's under my orders to save Hyrule. Uh, to the point. Ooh, he finds it hilarious. What kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay. All right. You can go. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. That, that clink uh, of the spear is very reminiscent, of course, to the gateway into the desert, right? With a group of women. When she left you through, she was clink, clink. Anyway, kind of reminiscent how on the east side and the west side, there's someone guarding the 
outer portions of the kingdom. Anyway, take that as you will. Uh, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you'll need to equip a popper shield, the Hylian shield. Uh, it's an active vol volcano after all. You can go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market. You can check out the bazaar. They sell the shield. <laughs> yeah, for 80 rupees. Uh, tell them I sent you and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good enough to go already, well, don't worry about it. Now, I'd like to ask you a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the Happy Mouse Shop? The one that opened in Hyrule Castle Town Market. Everyone's talking about it. Yeah, but we were there. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to get there. So, could you go and get the mask for me? And next time you're in the market, and if you don't, that's okay. But, well, I have no choice. This is my job. Sorry. Yeah, like I said, last time, when we were seeing the princess and we were in the town market, uh, I, I've never completed the whole mask sub-adventure. I just don't care. <laughs> um, I've gotten the hap I've gotten a one or two masks, but I've never cared enough to take the time, the effort to to do that. So, yeah, that's just me. So, apologies, you won't be seeing that here. Uh, but you know where it is, Town Market. And if you want to go get that guy a mask for his kid and start that whole sub adventure. Please, have at it. it. Just, uh, you know, I find it a little bit tedious. I don't care. And the rewards aren't um, enough to justify the time and effort that you put into such a thing. So, thank you for hitting me. And, darn it, I wish I had some more. Let's see. I'm trying to... Might need to take care of this guy first. Okay, would you, would you get back here? Okay, seriously? They're not that hard. Thank you. Alright, I'm really hoping that... Oh, shoot. Okay. I can't do it yet. There's a soft spoil, soil spot. But, as you can see, guess where we are? Yeah. Navi's even telling us as much. We are on Death Mountain Trail. And this is where we're going to wind it up, because this is the next part of our adventure. Please join me next time, okay? Doing Death Mountain Trail, Dundongo's Cavern, some more heart pieces, Gold Skulltala, getting a bomb bag, and, of course, the Fire Spiritual Stone. That's all coming up next. Thank you for joining me. This is Loudboy. You guys have an awesome evening. Take care.